today, I'm actually gonna put the country ham inside the biscuit. All right, so the ham is chopped up and now I'm gonna get to work on the biscuits. I'm gonna use two cups of all-purpose flour and then a tablespoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. That's what's gonna help these biscuits rise. Whisk that together. Now I'm gonna grab some very cold butter out of the fridge. So I've got four tablespoons of butter that I've just diced up into small dice. These cold pieces of butter will just add these little pockets of goodness. So my mom would take two butter knives and she would just call this cutting in the shortenings. My grandmother would do this too. You can also use your fingers, but you really just want the butter to, to cut up into small pieces and mix in with the flour. Now we're gonna add in the buttermilk, three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. My grandmother would use her hands. You're just eventually gonna have to get your hands dirty. That's just the rule. Because there's just no other way of going in. All right, I don't wanna overwork this dough, so I'm gonna get some flour out on my clean kitchen counter, and I'm gonna pat this out into a circle. And I'm just gonna flatten it out to about a half an inch thick. I have a um, pretty small biscuit maker cookie cutter, and when you're making biscuits, you wanna go straight down and pull straight out. Just straight in, straight out. If you get a little stuck, you can always put a little bit of flour on. Now that I've made the mess that grandma would have made, I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna get these biscuits into the oven. So I have a skillet in the oven that has been preheating at 450 degrees. I'm gonna put these biscuits in the very hot skillet. What that's gonna do is give us a really crispy bottom brown biscuit. Won't take that very long to melt. And then I'm gonna gently place these biscuits in here They're touching just a little bit, which will help them kind of all work together as a team to rise up. Like the women in country music, I'm just saying. And these just need to go back into the oven for about 10 minutes. Don't forget, you've had this skillet in the oven, so it's really hot. I do have biscuits for you. I'm ready. Country ham biscuits. And they're cute. Woo. They're also really hot, so I'm gonna let them cool for just a minute. I've never seen biscuits in a skillet before. You haven't? I haven't. I'm gonna take one out and see. Oh yeah, those so, are yeah, amazing. See? Oh yeah. Nice and crispy on the bottom. And then I made some um, pimento cheese ahead of time. You just add in some finely grated white cheddar, pimentos, mayo, and chopped scallions in a large bowl, and you mix it all up, and that's pimento cheese. I have little plates for us. So cute. And then, oh, yeah. All right. So I opened up the biscuit okay. a little bit and then stick it inside. I mean, they just and fall apart. They do, and country ham usually goes on a biscuit, but I actually put it in the biscuit dough, so. The salty ham. Yeah, the salty mm -hmm. ham. I kicked my shoes off, I'm like. That's good, that's <laughs> good. That, I want you to feel at home, I want you to feel at Making home. Making myself at home. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Welcome to my house. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. That works. That's so good. <laughs>